have three children. She says she had two kids. She has three kids. She has a daughter who's 26. She has a granddaughter um, who's 10. So that, that was inconsistent. Do you have any children? I do. I have two boys. Two boys. How old are your 10. boys? Huh? 17 and 10. 17 and 10. Are they both by the same man? No, they're not. He has three children, Veronica. It is. I, I never said that I didn't. I have three children. And on my I social asked you how many cases, kids you had. You said you had two. First of all, I don't, children to me ch are, ch they're children. I have an, an adult child who is not in my household. So when you say children, if a man is going to date me, he's going to date me and my two children. The two children I have in my home. I have a child who has lived, lived in my house in 10 years. She's 27 years old. She's almost 30. I, I that is an adult. Like women, I have to ask the most direct question to get a, a honest answer. So do I have to start saying how many children have come out, how many people have come out your body in order to get the real answer? Like, I have to really go No, or maybe basic. just in total, but when you're saying children, because if you're on a dating no, show and somebody's going to date honey, you, they're going Veronica, to date your children. Veronica, I have an, an, an adult child. I and so she's not a secret. Back and make on, my social media page, on my social media page, my grandchild and my child are both on my social media page. Listen, all, okay, all let throughout the page. Let me ask you this. So there was how no denial people, about that. How many people have come out of your body? Three. What's up, my people? It is your boy once again with another episode of Foolery. All right, my people. All right. So let's let's just let's just jump back in on it. We back on the Kendra G. I don't know where the people come from, but I do know she is starting to get a little tired of them. She is getting frustrated more and more. And I can see Kevin Samuels coming out more and more as I mean, as she talks. She is getting so sick and tired of these women that she's starting to sound like them a little bit. But besides the point, why you ladies are so hard to talk to? She is asking direct questions, and this lady here has been sidebarred left and right. Because her husband or ex-husband or soon-to-be ex-husband has come on and kind of debunked all the lies she told when she first called in to Kendra. So this is where we're at now. So Kendra's kind of just bringing it up to her and showing her that, wait, wait, wait. So you came on my show and lied. So now the young lady trying to backtrack out of all of this and Kendra ain't having it. So let's jump in on this. And before we do, y'all know what we got to do. Got to hit that subscribe, like, share, and of course, hit that notification bell to get what? The next video. So no further ado, let's check it out. The Lion Guess. Veronica, Veronica girl. Veronica, hey, cousins. Veronica, Veronica, I don't... I don't met a man by the name of Rudy who said, hold on, hold on. Child, hold on. you and everybody hold on, hold on. else. Hold on, Veronica. Hold on, Veronica, because I got to do you the way I did him. Is this your husband? Soon to be ex, but yes. I know him. I do. Is this your wife? Legally, yes. This, this, this is your wife. You guys aren't divorced. No. She said that she was divorced. We had, we, no, our, we have our first um, mediation April 4th. So this is, so you are still legally married to him? Unfortunately, yes. So you lied to us? I didn't lie to you. So here's the thing. I didn't know what your, I had, I, I, there's no shade to you. I didn't know who you were. I'd never seen your show. It was the first time I ever joined your show. Somebody kept Girl, sending me Girl, that got nothing to do with a question if you I didn't. See, that's the thing I had with this right here. You ladies will come on someone's show, then claim you don't know anything about the people who's running the dog on show. So why are you here? Why would you go on someone's show and you don't know their content? You see what I'm saying? People doing that, they just, you see a piece of something, oh, I want to get on there. Then you get on here and lie and then you get called out. Oh, I don't know who you are. Man, I would have had some words for her, but 
let's keep it rolling, man. So this is what I'm saying is I didn't know your requirements to be on the show was like, oh, you but, but that, that don't show. matter anyway. So, so okay. The question, yes, yes, you, yes, yes, yes. Yes. So yes. you lie because the question I, I was, no, are I'm you divorced? divorced? Hold on. Whether you knew me or not, it ain't about shade. Questions are questions. And the direct question was, are you divorced? Okay. You said, let's hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Okay, my, no, let's roll with it. Let me yes, finish, correct. Veronica. I'm going to let you respond, but I got to finish. We have a grown woman talk because are you want to start off lying again. Are now, here's the response. We? Yes. I don't give a damn if you never heard of me. The question is simple. I asked you where you divorced, and then I asked you when you got divorced. Okay, excuse me. Have you ever been married? I have, yeah. Divorced. When did you get divorced? Say again, honey. I'm divorced. Divorced. When did you get divorced? Last June. June 2023. So you said June. So I, that's why I said, do she think she's really divorced? So regardless of you met me from that day, the question was direct and clear. Are you divorced? When did you get divorced? The reason I asked the when is because people like yourself can be separated at times. So I asked the when. And then I think we brought it up two times. So you should just admit you lied. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay, that's fine. I wasn't cl completely clear about my divorce date. Y'all notice how she didn't admit it? She never admitted that she lied. She, I, 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 why is it so hard for y'all ladies to admit when you're wrong? That is the biggest problem in relationships. You will do the most and then get called out and will not, you will get mad before you say, yeah, I was wrong. Like this chick. But Kendra on that butt, so let's see. Uh, what you gonna say next, Eddie? What you gonna say? Let's see. Lying ass. But yeah, I, in my mind, so you I thought you were divorced. You, you, you think well, you're divorced? Absolutely, absolutely. He's living with his ex-wife. He's living with his first wife. Like you left here a year ago. And unfortunately it's a technicality because in South Carolina, you have to be separated for a year before you can file for divorce. Now we were gonna falsify and file in Florida and say that, hey, we were, you know, he's gonna file in Florida so we can have an immediate divorce. But because of other things on his part, he decided, no, I'm going to try to file in South Carolina. Or we would have already been divorced. This is just a drag out thing. But we don't speak. We don't talk. We have no interaction. We are done. We have nothing to talk. We have no kids. We have no ties. We have nothing together. We are done completely. But yeah, let me call it that. That's are fine. You, go ahead. No, what was you going to say? No, I was going to say, but that's, that's fine. I, I'll let you hold that. That's okay. Yeah, technically, yes. I'm, I'm technically, yes, still married. So what, about four or five minutes in and you finally admit it to the first question? Were you married? You see, she done went through all this to say, yeah, I'm, I'm legal, I'm still married. So why y'all going on dating shows trying to hook up with people and meet people knowing that you're still married? <laughs> so many people comes on this show, that's why Kendra had that stipulation. If you still married, I don't care what the, the status of it. You have to get off the show, come back when your shit's done. That's why she do it. Why? Who wants to hook up with somebody who has a ex and you're married to him? Ladies, what is... But y'all say it's always us, but look at this shit. I, that's why I do these little videos, because I want people to see it the other way now. And y'all always look at it like we do it, but watch this stuff. Did you? Were you aware that you had a mediation in April? Yes, I'm aware. So then I'm you know when you talk to me that you were still married. I literally just got the letter for the mediation in the mail. So today. when you talk to me, but I, what I'm saying is if you knew you had a mediation, you knew you were- I didn't know that. I just got it today. You just, so you, had, so, so you had no idea you had a mediation in April. Mm -mm, I just got it today. Did you, let me ask you this. Me. When you talk to me, if a guy, if a guy proposed to you, did you feel as though you could legally marry him? Nobody would propose to me. Hence why I said no, I'm going to no, take I'm my time. I'm asking you, if a guy proposed to you, would you feel as though you were able to legally marry him? Sure. I would say you just have to wait till after June. We can get married, but it has to be after June. Well, you knew it. Veronica, you trying to answer around these questions, Sean. I'm not answering. you asking me. I'm no, answering no, the no, question. No, no, If it's, somebody proposed. Okay, would, okay. So, okay, so you're right. So, therefore, you knew that. Kendra, they would already know, like, hey, listen, here's my situation. Here's what really happened. Here's the story. Here's what's gone on. If you're trying to propose, we can get married. But, unfortunately, until after this date, June 18th of 2024, I, my court date is not, we're not legally divorced until then. Oh, okay, Veronica, either way. The thing, she's trying to slip around this. You have a court date in June but you have a mediation in April. 
So there is no say so that your court date, it means that's going to be the end of it. Because if y'all go to mediation and there's some issues, that's going to push that date back. So she telling people, oh, so in June, it'll be over with. But not necessarily because you guys hadn't come to an agreement yet on the assets or whatever with this marriage. So you wouldn't be going to mediation if it wasn't an issue. If it was cut and dry, shit, you just burn up that year and you get a divorce. That's how South Carolina do it. If you don't have any kids and you're not living together, you already separate, so you already separate the assets. So something else is held up because y'all have a mediation about it. So to say, well, in June, you can do it. No, you have a date in June. You're going to actually sit in front of a judge, but y'all trying to take care of things before that happens. So if you don't, that shit going to get moved out. So it's like getting to court, like, no, we don't have an agreement. And then, okay, we'll be back in here in three months. So you're not. That's why you don't jump up and get in these relationships with people that still married. That's why, people, all this coming law shit, y'all better cut it out because you're going to end up with nothing. I'm why not just say you were separated when I asked you when you were divorced? I, in my mind, I'm, we're divorced. We're divorced. And, and it will all, it's going to all come out in the wash because... In, in case I don't know if you didn't see all of the messages, but all of this, this there's been a plethora of women who've been commenting on your TikTok, your Instagram, and your YouTube about their relationships with him during our marriage, the relationships that they had with him during well, our marriage. But here's the deal: he didn't come on my show, and all I care about is coming on my show. I can't listen. I don't know you, and I don't know Rudy. That's right. On my show, but the rule on my show is a very clear rule: if you're separated. Wait till you're officially divorced and you can come back. Again, and like I said, I didn't, and again, and like I said, I didn't know So what he's doing and what y'all doing, that's really y'all business. But when you come on my show, you make it my business. Now, if he would have called me and I would have asked him, is he still married? And he would have said he separated. I would say, well, we can't continue because that's the rule. But let's go on. I want you to fact check some other things that he said. Do you have three children? She said she had two kids. She has three kids. She has a daughter who's 26. She has a granddaughter um who's 10 so that was inconsistent do you have any children i do I have two boys two boys how old are your 10. boys huh 17 and 10. 17 and 10 are they both by the same man no they're not here's the thing with a lot of that stuff so um because it has now become a legal matter because as you know in the state of south carolina libel and slander is punishable by misdemeanor uh, fines. There can be um, civil ramifications. Do you have three children, Veronica? It is, I, I never said that I didn't. I have three children. And on my I social asked you how many cases, kids you had. You said you had two. First of all, I don't. children to me are they're children. I have an, an adult child who is not in my household. So when you say children, if a man is going to date me, he's going to date me and my two children. The two children I have in my home. I have a child who has lived, lived in my house in 10 years. She's 27 years old. She's almost 30. I, I, that is an adult. Like women, I have First off, let's, let's, before I answer this thing about these kids, this little law that she came up with the something punched by misdemeanor, in it, this is not a criminal investigation. This is a divorce. You can say whatever you want. You can say it. It ain't no slander. If the man came on and said you had three kids and you talking about you have two, you can answer that. Now, let's jump on it with the kids. I have two boys. They're both adults. One of them is an old adult. But they still my kids. So they still my children. It don't matter what their age are. So this stupidness that she's saying because the kids are grown, one of them is grown, that they're not children. No, they're not like a baby, a child, but they still your children. When you pass away, that's like, how many children did she have? And they just go down the list. They don't count the ones. So if you <laughs> so if you become an adult, 21, you don't have any more kids. Is that what you're saying? See how stupid y'all sound? It's just stupid. Stop it. I say, just stop it. Just stop it. Stupid. I have to ask the most direct question to get a, a honest answer so do i have to start saying how many children have come out of, how many people have coming out your body in order to get 
the real answer. Like I have to really go no, back. Or maybe just in total. But when you're saying children, because if you're on a dating show and somebody's going to date honey. you, they're Veronica. going to date your children. Veronica. I have an, an, this now, is an adult child. And she's not a secret. Back and make on my social better. media page, uh, on my social media page, my grandchild and my child are both on my social media page. Listed all, okay, all through our page. Let me ask you this. So there was no how denial people, about that. How many people have come out of your body? Three. So that's how I have to start asking women questions, obviously. And that's how you would like to phrase, that's to how you would like to phrase your question. How many people have come out of your body in order to get the real number of how many people you birthed? That's really sad that I have to go that deep it's with not, a 43 year old it's woman. Not sad. You are a it's not sad. It's not sad. Now, do you want to have the conversation or do you want to? You didn't have this energy. Veronica, for, if you were you 21, didn't have this energy I would expect that. So have the correct energy for me, because I didn't come at you wrong like that, Kendra. You but coming no, at me with all this the extra energy. The energy right now it's unnecessary. Is it's because, unnecessary. No, it's deal. unnecessary. Here's it really deal. is. It's unnecessary. Here's the deal, Somebody was allowed to come onto your Why platform you know? Listen, and slander somebody. We can't talk. You're we absolutely can't. right. We can't. So go ahead. Go ahead. It's your part. <laughs> it's funny watching her trying to overtalk Kendra on Kendra's show. You hear this cat fight just back and forth, so she's trying to cut Kendra off from sitting there and actually putting the numbers together. She didn't want nobody to know she had a 27-year-old kid because she was 43 at the time, right now, which put her, what, at 16? See what I'm saying? She didn't want people to know she had a daughter that old because she thinks she's still young. But let's get back in it. I ain't gonna hold up y'all too long. Whether you knew me or not, you call me. I don't know you if you never call me. Rule number one. Plain and simple, you decided to call me. Once you call me, you make you, your business, our business, the cousin's business, watching. Now, I'm just gonna say, I had no idea that I had to ask a 43 year old woman how many people came out of her body in order to get the real answer of how many people she birthed because children, she's past that age. That to me, if you were 21, I would expect this dialogue, but to be a woman that's one year younger than me, that's kind of sad and pathetic, just being honest. But that, and that's your opinion. But I don't have, this is a grown woman. This is an adult who, this is an adult who doesn't live in my home, who hasn't lived in my home in, in probably almost 10 years. She hasn't lived in my home. So when you say children, to me, that is a child. If somebody is going to interact with me, they're interacting with two children who are actually in my home. This is an adult who lives five states away. I don't consider that to be a child. I don't, I've never neglected her. She's very much on um, a part of my, she's on my social media. Like, it's not like I'm negating the fact that I ever have had a child. So, you know, th and that's a technicality. Here's another thing. Oh, she lives here and not here. Hello. Nobody ever says, I might as well just drop the pin and gave my address. I'm in this area. You don't exactly say, hey, this is where I am. It's like somebody who lives in Hollywood. You don't know where Hollywood, Florida is. So you would say, oh, I'm in the Miami area. Oh, I'm in Miami. Because most people know that as a landmark. That's not a lie. For safety reasons, you don't say, especially when you live in a small town, oh, I live here. So uh, some of these things were so petty and the fact that you was just like followed up on them, it was just absurd to me. But again, slander and libel is a real thing. And in the state of South Carolina, it is considered a misdemeanor. It is, and I'm, I have to be cautious on what I say because the matter now is with my attorney. However, a lot of that stuff was false and incorrect. And there are women who have been trying to reach out to you who also have receipts and pictures and videos that are time stamped during the time of our marriage who can attest to saying, hey, well, the reason well, I, for I the divorce. I already addressed that. I already addressed that. The, the bottom line is this. What I don't know you who you Rudy called me. That's just the fact. Right, but what like, did you address? Hold on, let me, right. let me finish. Let me respond to what you just said. I'm not saying Rudy is this Prince Charming man, out rightfully so. But the point of the matter is Rudy did not call on my show and tell me that he was not married and I proceeded. That's all that matters. Now, what y'all do in y'all life, that's y'all business. I'm not here to defend his character. He didn't try to call me to be a guest on my show. If you want to fact check, there's another, you, you're busy? Hello? Hello? We can't hear you. See the little thing she did right there when Kendra was getting on her? She going to act like something she need to get up and do. And see, I noticed when Kevin, when Kevin used to have his shows and women would do that. Right in the middle of conversation, they would get up, go fix a drink. Get up, go light a cigarette. And he was like, what are you doing? They're like, well, I'm just going to say, no, we're having a conversation. You don't just get up and walk away and go start doing something. 
She was about to get up and act like she had something to do, like somebody just buzzed her or something. You ain't have nothing to do. And Kendra called. It's like, oh, what, what, what you doing? But that's that thing I keep talking about, that disrespect that a lot of you have, and then you swear like nobody, it's not you. It's you. Cut the BS. Man. Oh, how about now? Um, I can hear you now. Sorry, I got some paid questions, but I, I'm not done yet. My do you want to respond to? Do you want to respond to the fact whether or not you had surgery? What in the world? When she says she never had surgery, I'm like, what? Like you had just had surgery when I met you. Like we met in Haiti, and you had just had surgery in Dominican Republic. Like how is it that you didn't? But the navel never lies. If you look at a person's navel, it won't lie. Remember the she told us her body was real. What? No. Let's do the Kendra Cam, Veronica. I do want to preface that I was in pajamas. I just got out of the shower and I was in pajamas, but okay. Well, I didn't say pajamas, but what? Are your tattoos are real? Oh, you have a lot they of are. tattoos. Yeah, they are all real. Okay, you have a nice body. You have a nice body. I do want to answer this real quick, though. This is. You could tell this is my natural body. Everybody's got something to say. I, you know, everything matches, and you could tell. And if you can go look at my social media, and you could tell I've been like this all my life. I'm Afro Latina, and if y'all know, Latin women and Black women are naturally built this way. So yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. Got me doing boots again. Everybody can tell you didn't have work done, young lady. Who the who can look at this and say, oh, that's natural? Like, do y'all think everybody's stupid? And then you're gonna make this whole thing about a lot to it with. Man, y'all just stop. Okay, so anybody that had concerns about her body, it is authentic. She's never had no body surgery. This is the body. Her, she got it from her mama and her daddy. My mama on my uh, social media, you can see her too. Miss Olivia was a hottie in her day too. So I have to be very cautious about what I say because again, it's at this point, it's a legal matter because- Well, you call me girl, so what you call me for? You want, I'm asking you questions, so you don't want to answer okay, that? So because that was something- Hold on, hold on. That was something you, you, you offered. Offer. Dip on your chip, Kendra. Like, don't have that energy with me. Like, don't, you didn't have that energy well, with no, me. Well, no, Veronica, I'm going to have that energy with you because Pull I'm getting irritated because- Pull out, Pull out, Pull out, Pull out, Pull out, It's about to go down. She ain't like that. Twisting that body. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. Okay, I allowed you to talk. You brought me lying. You brought me lying. You brought me lying. So if you don't expect, if, if you if you don't expect this type of energy, I don't know what you would expect. You literally caught and told lies on my show. This is a but did I, show. But did I tell the lies? You yeah, that. you're you're at this point. You're calling me a liar, and you don't know if I did. This Veronica, just two different. Veronica, are you are you a part of this interview? Are you a part I, of this interview? I, are you a part of it? Because it seems like this is a camera. Okay, off. Veronica, what would listen? You, listen, honey, I'm not gonna play these games with you. You just admitted to two lies in this interview. How how is that a lie? That is not a lie. You you admitted that you are married, and you told us that you were divorced. That's a lie. That's not. We're, what, what, what's going on here? Okay, That's so an admission of lying. That. Anything else is not a lie. Like you don't just like when you come out on a public platform, you for me to say, oh, I live here, but not here. I live. Okay, that public. listen. That's okay. That. We're not talking about that. Okay. I didn't even bring that up. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the basic where everything begins is you said you were divorced and you are legally married. And that is a lie. We can fact check the fact that you are legally married. You, you told can. a lie, Veronica. And that's fine. If that's not what you 
want to roll with, that's okay. But so we're not. Because what I'm rolling with it's just the facts of what it is. It's the facts. That's fine. So we're not going to roll. We're not going to talk about any of the, of the lies that Rudy told. Because Rudy came on here and just lied, 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 and he was allowed to just talk openly for 20 minutes, and you never interrupted him. You never gave him this this hostile energy. He, this man was allowed to come onto your platform, onto your platform, and say whatever he wanted to say. Libel, slander was able to come on here and say whatever he wanted to well, say. Well, like I said with Rudy, and I said it several times. I have to use allegedly because he said something about a video and he was ready to show the video. Now I didn't allow him to show the video. I and don't know I, if you, that, uh, Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Thank you for that. You guys haven't spoken since July of last year, like no communication. Well, that's when she sent me the video of her having a threesome with a chick going down on her and a dude in the background. What? Right now, those are some those are some tough allegations okay. now. We have to, I have to use the word allegedly because I don't know if that's that's a true. She sent you a video. No, you're not going to. I'm going to prohibit you from showing the video. Yeah. So I'm going to prohibit you from showing the video. We, we won't do that. We won't do that. We won't do that. Right. We don't. We won't do that. But do you want to right now say if that video exists? The video exists and it was after the fact, the date that we are legally separated. The paperwork that says gives the date of the date that we are considered by the court legally separated. That video occurred after we were legally separated. Okay. After. Now, have his, you ever had have right. you ever had body surgery? His indiscretions. I, again, I have to be cautious. His, I have to be cautious. Like I said, I can't say a whole lot because it's with my attorney. But there are several women who have tried to reach out to you who want to come on the platform and say, Hold "Okay, up. well they can." Well, 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 here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. You got to understand this. You could be in your emotions and you could be in your feelings. I'm not. But hold, hold, hold on. I'm, not. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to do the listen and talk back rule because we can't talk over each other. But the fact of the matter is, the old Rudy again. And I said to him, I don't know him. I don't know you. It's y'all word against y'all. But the fact of the matter is, you just admitted that he is still legally legally your husband, and that's why he came on to expose the truth now i'm asking you this question three times i'm gonna ask it again okay you so volunteered me... you you actually volunteered hold on one second hold on one second hold on one second veronica hold on one second i never asked women if they had body surgery first of all what you what, you, what you, you are hold on veronica let me finish my statement i never asked women if they had body surgery you decided to volunteer that your body was natural you got it from your mama who want to answer this real quick though this is you could tell this is my natural body everybody's got something to say I you know, everything matches and you could tell and if you can go look at my social media and you could tell I've been like this all my life. So right now, have you ever had any type of surgery or life? Of? Okay, real quick in the comments. I want y'all to comment right now before the video starts back up. Do you think dude was lying about her body that she had surgery or do you believe her? I want y'all to put in the comments real quick. Do y'all believe this woman had surgery and y'all go with what the dude is saying or y'all believe in her? So I want to see how the men and women answer this question. I already know what my answer is. And I they going back and forth about what he said and what she said. Uh, what y'all say? I'll give y'all a few minutes. Go ahead and hit that. And then we're going to start the video. And we're going to see who what. All right, let's get it. And again, I have to be cautious of what I say because everything was, this video has been downloaded and sent to my attorney. And I do have an attorney. Why can't you answer that simple question though, Veronica? I, because I have to be cautious about what I say. You have to be cautious of whether or not you have surgery. I have to be cautious about what I say because again, I know, but I'm just asking. I'm just saying, why? Why can't you? I mean, first of all, you, hold on. Let me ask you this though. Let me just say this. But let me say this so I can understand. I never was gonna ask you if you had body surgery. I don't ask women that question. Hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Hold on. Hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish, Veronica. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. on your show, you treat them differently. And it's hard to you are a case, Veronica, you are separate right now. What are you talking about? I'm asking you to this I'm, is your I'm, I'm telling you facts. I'm telling you facts. Wait, hold now, on. Well, you Veronica, on here. I, I, I want to continue, but we're not going to continue like this if you're not going to admit. As I say, I never asked women, I never asked women if they had surgery. You offer to volunteer that your body is natural. 
So if so, you offered a volunteer that your body was natural, why can't you just so let me, admit to it or not admit to it well, right now? So I just want to understand this. At first, you were caught up on the fact that, well, are you married or are you not married? Your man came on here and said he was this, he was that. And so you're not allowing me to speak to anything. What you're concerned about is what you're concerned about. And I get it. This is entertainment for you and you want ratings and you want No, I'm just What's trying to get that. I'm just trying to get that. You want the mess and you want the tea. What you don't want to no, do. Girlfriend, you, you call me. I don't know you. I don't want the mess of the tea. Y'all call me up. I don't call nobody, honey. I call no one. You call me. Plain and simple. What I'm doing right now is I'm asking fact check questions. Right. Like I said, so hold on, let me say it again. Okay, but did you fact me... check him? Did you fact check him when he came on your show? Did you fact well, I'm, check him? Well, I'm fat. Only way I can fact well, Veronica, Veronica, listen. Did you ask only way him? I can fact check did him fact is to talk him? to you. Listen, Veronica, this is what Did I'm doing right now. Him? This is what I'm doing right now. You're the fact check. I'm giving you the opportunity to fact check. But you're not. I can are only you fact check with you, Veronica. Are you Veronica. really giving me the opportunity? Are you really Veronica, giving me the opportunity? Veronica, Veronica, here's the deal. I'm going to say it for the fourth time. I'm going di to digress and take I'm gonna a step back. I'm going to say it for the fourth time. You volunteer the information about not having surgery. I didn't even ask the question. You volunteered a lot of information. So now I'm, I'm asking you now. To me how you're so now I'm asking you now, Veronica. And it's showing. Is that a true statement that you and said? It's showing. Me? And like I said, you might. Okay, we we done. We done. We done. We done. We done. We done. Child, let me tell you something. The rules of this show: no videos come down, and I call nobody. You call me. Plain and simple. Now, the fact that you're not willing to answer the question that you offered to us, I never even asked you if you had body surgery, never was going to ask you if you had body surgery. You said you never had body surgery. Now, I didn't ask you three times if you want to confirm or deny that. And every time I ask, it, the attorney is involved. The attorney, how could the attorney be involved in something that you volunteered to tell the world? That question would have never came up. But now all of a sudden, you, you can't say legally if you had body surgery or not. Child, listen, let me tell you something, child. <laughs> the one thing about this is you guys play yourselves all the time. I've been doing this show for four years. If you didn't know about it, that's on your ass. <laughs> that is on your ass. If you don't know about the show, there's plenty of videos. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on YouTube. Plain and simple. This is not a new show, honey. It's not a new show. And this was your opportunity to deny a lot of things that Rudy said. And, you know, it is what it is. I want this to be a lesson to everyone that calls in to the show. No videos come down. Do not lie. Plain and simple. If you call into the show, you are volunteered to ask the answer the questions that I literally ask everyone. Now, you might answer a question. I might go deeper with your answer, but everyone has a basic answer. The reason I do 21 or older, because 21 or older, you're an adult. By this age, you should know how to answer basic ass questions. Now, one thing Veronica said is she never heard of the show. And I just went back to see when she was on. She was the she was on, I select her after 50 minutes. After 50 minutes. So that means you sat in queue for 50 minutes and watched me ask people questions. At any given moment, you could have disconnected yourself because I call no one. You volunteer to call here. Here's the deal. Once you volunteer to call here, like I say at the beginning of every video, no videos come down. And guess what? If your ass is a liar and someone is willing to expose your ass on the World Wide Web and what you are lying, they have the right to do so. Guess what? How, guess how everything is solved. Do not lie. And then nobody doesn't have to come and say that you're a liar. It's the most simplest thing in life. Okay, okay, okay. It's sad. It's really sad that you were so proud of your body on one video and angry about it on another. You could have clearly said, this is my real body. But instead, you want to do all this deflection, coming at Kendra, get mad. And the thing is, she's really mad about is that you taking his side. And she's not. But that's what she want to say. Oh, so you want to take her, his side instead of my side and you're a black woman and you going against us. See, Kendra's not on girl code like she used to be.
That's what the problem is. And that's why this young lady is so upset. And she keep coming at Kendra like, oh, so you keep, oh, okay. So, and all this stuff about this, I got to be careful what I'm saying. You would think this woman in a criminal investigation. Now, you can't be on here talking about you having threesomes and foursomes and all this crap. But you can answer basic questions. And then trying to get, i am tell you something, ladies. Y'all spend too much time trying to make a man look bad. She's spending all her conversation trying to say all these women coming on here talking about how they've been with this man. How are you going to fact check that? Women just randomly coming, oh, yeah, I would mess with him. Oh, yeah, I'd mess with him. So this man, what? How many women came on there? He got it going on like that. Women in different cities all over the place, Just he just had them all like that. You see what I'm saying? Just as many dudes can probably, and girls, can probably come on and say the same thing about her. Because you're doing videos. So, it's a lot. Seems like y'all just should have been split. Y'all want to do your own thing. And y'all a hot damn mess. Let's just be real. But guys, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I'm just, this is some, you know, don't come on this, this stuff and lie. Because somebody always know you. That's the thing. You got to be careful what you say when you come on here. Somebody always know you. And when you come on here and lie and tell crazy stuff, especially when you're married and you're telling people you're not married, uh, most likely the person that's married is going to pop up somewhere. So, ladies and gents, that's it for me tonight. It's your boy once again. And I got to get up out of here. Y'all have a good day. Peace. <laughs>